The main point to remember about refactoring is this sense of lots of little changes. At no time is the program overall behavior change. At no time is it broken. It's always working. I could have stopped halfway through and committed, or I can you know, carry through to this stop and point and committed. I'm always on that safe space. If you ever cause things to break, I mean, the, the usual cycle is you do the refactoring, you run your test suite. If it's green, you carry on. If it's red, if you can immediately spot what you've done wrong, then fix it. If you can't immediately spot what you've done wrong, you roll back. I usually, sorry, I should have been a bit more precise about that. I make my refactoring, I run my code till it's green. If it's green, I commit into my local um, Git copy. And then if I break something later on, I'll roll back to the last safe spot. And I've got that constant stream of safe spots. So as a result, I'm not actually going very far. And usually what I need to do is to then do the refactoring again, but take smaller steps. But I can always see what I've done because I've got these tiny changes. When you push it up to a shared main line, you can always squash things together depending on what your code convention is. Um, don't be afraid to take tiny little steps in your local copy and commit every single step because you can always squash later if you have to. But, and what that means is you're always confidently rolling back. And that's the nice thing about refactoring. Because of the fact you should never be changing external behavior, I find it's a very calm form of programming because you know, there's, there's not the stress of, oh, how do I debug this? I'm never going to try and debug uh, a refactoring change. I'll always roll back and then move forwards in a different way or in a slower way. But actually, you don't make very many mistakes because once you get used to refactoring, the moves are fairly straightforward. If you follow, the book contains my, what was originally my notes to remind myself how to refactor things. And if you follow those steps, the steps are all very small, the chances of screwing them up are relatively slim. I mean, it's me, so I still screw things up. I can screw anything up. Um, but the chances drop a great deal because you've got relatively formulaic moves.